Hello and welcome to the Flickering Torch, and on today's episode, we're going to teach you how to play Mecha Hack. Now, what is Mecha Hack? Mecha Hack is, I believe the style is called OSR, so Old School Renaissance style role playing game about giant fighting robots. You can play as either like Mech Warrior style, like big, beefy, chunky robots, or you can play as kind of the more anime style. Uh, kaiju fighting, Power Rangers-esque, Megazord-esque robots. The reason we're creating this video is, well, we've just started our next actual play, which is the Mecha Hack Desperate Alliance, and I just wanted to make this video so people who are watching the show easily and very quickly know what the dice rolls mean. So we're going to cover two main things, and these are kind of the basics of Mecha Hack, and these are the things you definitely need to know when playing. The first one is Ability Tests, and the second one is Reactor Tests. An Ability Test is called for when the player wants to do something that they might fail at and would have a dramatic consequence to them either succeeding or failing. So, an Ability Test might be, I want my Mecha to shoot that other Mecha um, across a battlefield, snipe them across a battlefield, or it might be I want to grab this car off of these off of these civilians so they can escape. Something similar to that. In the mecha hack, to make one of these rolls, you're going to be rolling usually one twenty-sided dice or d20. So the abilities you're going to be testing are power, mobility, system, and presence. Power is kind of the raw physical strength and combat ability of your mecha. Mobility is their speed and dexterity, that kind of thing. Systems is kind of your intelligence, knowledge, using scanners. And presence is your own personal resilience or grit or force of personality. So in the mecha hack, you will be rolling a 20-sided dice and you want the number to be lower than your attribute score. Now, this is a bit different. Usually, high rolls are good things, but in the mecha hack, it's the complete opposite. Low rolls are good. If you look at my character sheet here, we can see that I've got an 18 in power, which means anything under an 18 is a success, and anything above that is a failure. So an 18 is very good, so the higher the ability score, the better your ability is, but the lower the dice roll, the better the dice roll outcome is. Now. This takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you get it, you just kind of get it, and every dice roll is so much easier to read because it's a it's a pass fail based on that one ability. Now the game does also implement advantage and disadvantage mechanics. This is the same as 5e, so you roll two 20-sided dice for advantage or disadvantage, and if it's advantage, because a low roll is better, you want the lower of the two, and if it's disadvantage, a high roll is worse so you want the higher of the two. That's your test dice. There are other things, like modifications, like if a task is particularly difficult, you might get a plus two, which means you have to plus two onto your dice roll. Again, the higher the number, the worse outcome for you. The next thing I want to talk about is reactor tests. Now, this is your mech using up more power than it really should. You can start overheating and eventually you overheat to the point where you kind of have to just take a round just cooling off. There are two main things that would call for a reactor test. Either A, you've got some kind of crazy special ability that like allows you to shoot a million rockets or something crazy like that. You have to do a reactor test to make sure you can do that ability. Or B, you want to do the same action in combat twice. So if you wanted to run across the battlefield and move twice, you would make a reactor call. Or if you were just firing your gun as fast as possible, making two attacks, you would also make a reactor die roll. Now, your reactor die is on your character sheet. This is mine, it's a d8. So I roll that d8, and on a one or a two, that gets downgraded to the next dice. So the eight would go to a d6, a d6 would eventually go to a d4. And once you're on the d4, if you roll a one or a two on that dice, if you roll those, you're overheated. You have to spend a whole turn just venting the heat out. Now, I really love this mechanic because it still allows that kind of pushing yourself beyond your boundaries, but also makes it so you kind of got to do a little bit of uh, management of heat systems and sort of management of what you can get away with in combat. Like, if your reactor dice is a D8, yeah, go for it. Fire off your weapons as many times as possible. Run across the battlefield. But when it starts getting to a D4, maybe we shouldn't activate those abilities. Maybe we should hold back a bit because we're a little bit beat up. We need a rest, you know? So yeah. That is the basic ability checks and the reactor die checks in Mecha Hack. We're really loving the game. We're only one session in of our Let's Play, the Mecha Hack Desperate Alliance, that can be found here. Really recommend you watch it. Addison's put in 110% effort on all the sound effects and voices for the characters, and we're going to have a blast. So thank you for watching. I hope you buy, purchase, and play the Mecha Hack. It's a blast. And also, as always, happy gaming.